Okay, in this lesson we are going to be talking about line symmetry. And uh, so first uh, little section on the top of the page here, it says these figures, these three figures on the right hand side are symmetrical in relation to the dashed line. The line, the dashed line itself is called a line of symmetry. Okay, we we'll use that expression there, or we can call it a, a symmetry line. Uh, this, uh, this means that one half of the figure is the mirror image of the other half. Or in other words, if I took and traced any of these three shapes onto a piece of paper and cut it out, if I folded it down the dashed line, uh, the edges of both sides would match and it would be identical on both sides. I folded it over. Um, or you could place a mirror along that middle uh, dashed line and the image in the mirror would be the, the matching side to the other, to the, uh, to other side. And, and so they're identical. Um, now if I put that dashed line, if I, if I had put in the dashed line say down here, a little farther to the right, and I folded it on that point, that would not be a line of symmetry. It has the lines of symmetry are always right in the middle, so that both sides are exactly the same. Um, we can go on to the next couple of shapes here, and uh, so some shapes can be fold two different ways so the sides meet. In other words, they have two lines of symmetry, and that's the way it is with this case here. It can have two lines of symmetry, and so uh, here we have a a uh, horizontal horizontal line of symmetry okay and we have a vertical line of symmetry and in some cases like this shape here it has two lines of symmetry uh, then we have the below that we have um, a uh, shape sort of like a flower type shape and uh, it has four different symmetry lines so you have the we have the vertical the vertical straight up and down there Okay, we have the horizontal line of symmetry, and then we have two different diagonals. Okay, two different diagonals, which gives us four. If you fold, if you fold that shape on either of those uh, lines, it gives you uh, a match, and they match. Okay, um, you can check them also by using a mirror, and just to make sure that it, at both sides are exactly the same. Uh, some shapes have only one symmetry line as shown with this arrow. Okay, one symmetry line. But many shapes are not symmetrical at all. So these shapes here, it doesn't matter where I draw the line, okay, it's not going to give me an exact representation of the other half. So uh, uh, many things do not. As I look around my home though, I see many shapes like clocks and furniture and different things that actually have some kind of symmetry to them but uh, many things uh, also do not have symmetry. So there is a little, uh, so one little more little thing I want to mention here in this short, short lesson about symmetry, lines of symmetry. There's a game I discovered online and there's the address of it and uh, right there, right underneath it. If you follow that you can practice with lines of symmetry and guessing how many lines of sy symmetry a particular shape has and just good practice and good uh, uh, for for doing tests and things like this coming up in the future. It's a very short little game. You could try that if you have time. Thanks.